Oh, I hear it. Oh. Oh. Hurry up. Are you kidding me? Woohoo! You you know you you could have died. <laughs> Oh, what is up guys? Welcome to part two of the Daily Driver Cummins build. Um, I have a whole bunch of parts in the back seat and I got some tires in the bed. Today is wheel and tire fitment on the Cummins. From part one, you would have seen that we're running the 35 1250s on the 22 by 12s and there is zero turning radius. The fitment is absolutely horrible. So we're gonna wrap that up today, but welcome to a beautiful situation here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 46 and rain all day. <laughs> I got it so hot that the top's like bowing down. <laughs> I can't help it, I got a real problem. <laughs> All right, guys, so, um, whew, hot, it's hot in here, too hot. So anyways, check this out really quick. I'm sitting here, I'm like, hey man, I'll check the air filter. Whoa, <laughs> dude. All right, so anyways, by me putting these wheels and tires on the truck, it uh, kind of made the truck useless. To get in and out of the garage, you gotta make a 50 point turn like Austin Powers when he's in that little thing, you know, doing that thing. So I figured before we really go any further with trying to fix like the steering setup or tuning it or whatever else I'm gonna do, I figured, you know, we gotta, we gotta be able to turn. So I've decided I'm not gonna level the truck. I wanna keep it stock ride height. So that either brings me to doing some mega trimming. You can see where it's starting to hit. It just completely grinds right there. So this whole front of the bumper would have to be shaved off. And then with the rear, um, it like really, really hit. So you'd have to get all kind of crazy in there. So that brings me to doing something that I've kind of always wanted to do, but I've never had the truck to do it with. Does that make any sense? So the one thing I've always wanted to do was run Toyo Proxies. So we got them. Um, luckily my distributor had them. They came in one day. Uh, I went with the 305 4522. It gives me a little bit bigger diameter tire. Uh, I think it comes out to like just a hair under a 33. So I didn't want to do like super small rubber bands on those wheels. But I wanted to run street tires. 305 45 gives me that option. And they're still wide. So they're still like a, just over a 12 wide, which I think will look pretty good on those. So we're gonna put the proxies on. If it looks stupid, I'm gonna take them back off and just put them in the wood burner. Um, but we gotta get these 35, 1250s off of here, the mud tires. I wonder if the truck will do a burnout. All right guys, so a couple days have went by and uh, and the other day I was talking to my buddy and he has this mobile tire guy that he uses. So it's a, it's a guy that comes to wherever you are and uh, changes your tires. So I don't have a tire machine anymore and I need to get the tire swapped on the truck. So I called the dude, said, hey man, you know, come on down. So he is outside right now changing the tires for the Cummins. But the crazier thing is, is on the way here, uh, on the way to the shop, I was driving the car, the Supra. And all of a sudden, I started smelling fuel. Fuel gauge, woo, gone. I hit a stick or something, punctured a fuel line. We got no gas, car's dead on the road. Some lady in a Camaro that I was following, seen me stop, pulled around, dropped me off at the shop. <laughs> but, uh, so we'll figure, we'll figure that out here in a minute, but anyways. Right now, 
see how it's going on here. All right, so how's it going? Oh, You're on. Know. You're on live. No luck. Oh, boy. <laughs> Got it. So that's the center clamp machine, so it actually doesn't grab the lip of the machine, it goes through the center. Um, so anyone out there that has some high-end wheels, that's what you want. There's all kind of old crud around the rim. How bad was this one? Not too bad? sensors in there because uh why not fudge it done balance them up we'll be on the road all right just like that done so that's all she wrote all right, uh, so where can the people find you? Huge shout out. Or I guess right there. <laughs> <laughs> Amenity Mobile Tires. It's a tongue twister. Amenity, there you go. Instagram, what's the Instagram handle? Amenity Auto. All right guys, you gotta go check him out. This guy did a wonderful job on the tires on the clapped out Cummins. Um, mobile tire thing is awesome. I appreciate it. And he has a ton more, so he's he gotta go. So I'm gonna quit holding up. We've been talking way too much. All right, tire guy just left. Before we go over the truck real quick, it's leaking a tremendous amount of oil. We gotta go on a rescue mission for the Supra. Um, it's dead on the road. Literally, some lady <laughs> dropped me off here because uh, we got some major problems. So, it's definitely a fuel line leaking, so I'm trying to possibly just put gas in it and then hurry up and get it to the garage so we can figure out what the deal is, but I don't know how bad the leak is, so it might put the gas in and it might just all run out. This is where I made it. I was able to coast up into this bar parking lot and uh, we got some serious fuel leakage. Well, it's not dripping now because all the fuel's gone. So what my plan is, put some gas in it. Put some gas in it and go. Hopefully get to the shop before it all drips out again. Well, we just put five gallons in her. Hopefully that can get us to the shop. We're only like maybe two miles, not even, maybe a mile. Cause it's not leaking right now cause there's no fuel pressure going on. So it's definitely a low pressure line. Alrighty, so we got it started, that's good. Alrighty, so he's gonna block traffic for me so I can get out. We're gonna try to hurry up, get there before we leak all the gas. <laughs> County Mountie. That's a good thing. All right, let's see if we can see where it's leaking out over here. Oh, I hear it. Oh, oh. Hurry up. Are you kidding me? Woo -hoo! You're, you know, you, you could have died. Yeah, we could have burned. You could, look at that. All right, guys, so we have an absolute massive leak on the Supra. I don't know what it could be. It's definitely a, either a, a low pressure line from the tank to the high pressure side, has a hole or a return line, either or it's leaking extremely bad. So part two, daily driver Cummins, it should be able to turn. So here's what we went with. We went with a Toyo Proxy, the regular ST model, not that new ST2 or ST3 model, whatever it is. So, so long story short, I've always wanted to run a street tire on one of my trucks. I just never had the right truck to do it. Personally, I think street tires on the new 17 and up Fords, the Super Duties, I don't think they look that good because they have such a big 
um, wheel well on them. You know, from, from an angle it looks okay, but when you get straight broadside side shot of the, of the Fords, the, the street tire, the little street tire just looks completely lost in that wheel well. But these trucks here don't have as big of a wheel well and the street tires look very good. We had to hit up my buddy's car wash for a drive through action because the side is covered in mud. Um, first drive on the tires on the way here, super smooth. Honestly, I couldn't tell any type of difference between these and the other tires. <laughs> we have about a 90% turning radius. We still rub just a little. Like I just rubbed pulling in here at full crank. Uh, we'll get out and check that in a minute. But first, we got to get rinsed off because uh, I mean, at least at least get the heavy mud off. <laughs> Taking in water. That's on the inside of the windshield. <laughs> More problems here to scrub, rub. Just a tiny little spot, it rubs still. The lineman's still off, but the tires are smooth as glass. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see how good the old drive-through car wash did. Um, whoa, it's pretty clean. <laughs> wow, it looks really good. Huh, unbelievable. It was plastered. I didn't think it was gonna do that good, honestly. Well, there you go. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on part two of the Daily Driver Cummins build. We are one step closer. We now have turning radius, and we have a good set of tires. Those other tires were trash. Those Kenda Clever MTs, I'm not a fan of those. And uh, and obviously, we couldn't even turn. Um, we still have a tiny bit of rubbage in there. Um, but we have like 99% full crank, which which is a good thing. That's that's okay. I can I can deal with that. So the daily driver build continues. Uh, next step is probably safety. We have to address a few safety issues with the truck uh, to make it safe to make it a safe driver. Right now it is a smidge sketchy, and I probably shouldn't be driving it. But I don't know. I'm really digging the uh, street tire look. Let me know what you guys think. But all right, guys, stay tuned for some more daily driver build action. Probably part three is coming out uh, very soon. Um, I'm actually wrapping this video up on election day. I hope everyone was safe out there. And whatever the outcome is, uh, I just hope we're not going to be that screwed. But all right, that's it. I'm headed to the house. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.